welcome back to my channel. Happy, happy Friday. What a weird background we have this Friday. As you know, all WW workshops are closed, so I'm currently at my real estate office. I'm just going to spend a little time here editing a few videos, and I'm going to join in on my virtual workshop via Zoom. So I love that WW is allowing us to still go to our workshop, but just going through it virtually on the Zoom app. So I'm excited, it's my first time using that app, so I'll definitely let you guys know how that goes. Also, I did weigh in at home this morning, so I'll be sharing my weigh-in results with you and the topic that we discussed in the virtual workshop. I also wanna talk with you guys a little bit about life right now and our current situation and WW and kind of where I'm at and what I'm wanting to do moving forward. If I'm gonna stay on track, if I'm struggling, kind of where I'm at with everything that's happening in our world. So if you wanna hear all about this virtual workshop, my way in and have a little chat, stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Hi guys, welcome back. I just finished my virtual workshop. It went really, really well. So if you're a little bit nervous about going to the virtual workshops, it is so incredibly easy. Simply download the Zoom app to either your phone, your tablet, your computer. All you do literally is connect to the meeting. You can show your picture or not show your picture. You can mute your voice or you can ask questions. And then there's also a chat role so that you can ask all your questions and get your answers. It was actually really, really nice. I could see the faces of all my friends from my WW workshop, see my coach. It was actually really, really good. It went better and a lot more smooth than I thought. So highly recommend that if you are part of the WW workshops that you take advantage of the virtual workshop because it's great and you still are able to get a ton of really valuable information. So definitely participate if you have that as an option. I did also want to let you guys know about weighing in. So when I stepped on the scale today, I entered my weight into my WW app. And it's very, very simple. When you first open up the app, right underneath where you track your points for the day, you're going to see an option to weigh in. All you have to do is click the blue weigh in button and enter your new weight and hit save. And it will adjust your points, or whatever needs to happen with your new weight. So it's very, very simple to enter your way in as well. So that's a little bit of housekeeping before we jump into this week's topic from the workshop. So this week's topic was all about stocking up your kitchen. So how perfect of a topic is this? In fact, I just did a major stock up myself, which you will see a massive grocery haul tomorrow. Massive. I went to four stores. So we talked a little bit about stocking up your kitchen and what should you be stocking your fridge, your refrigerator, your pantry, and your kitchen with to help you stay on track. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that we talked about in my virtual workshop as far as what to stock up your kitchen with. So number one was making sure that you have healthy options on hand. So when you are going to the grocery store and stocking up, make sure you're buying on point, point friendly, healthy options to have available and make sure that you're not bringing those unhealthy or point heavy options into your house. Just kind of avoid those altogether and you won't be in a situation where you're reaching for those unhealthy foods versus those healthy foods. So just make sure you're stocked up on foods that you enjoy that are on plan. Also, we're noticing that a lot of good meats are hard to find. I seem to see a lot of sausages and things on the shelves or in the coolers, but I'm not seeing any chicken breast. That's been a battle for me. And you'll see in my grocery haul that it took me until my third store to actually find chicken breast. So in the event that you can't find chicken breast, anywhere, make some substitutions. You can always buy other meats. I know that they have points, but you can always sub other meats, pork chops, steak. You could even do boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You also can sub in canned food like beans and get your protein from the bean source instead of from meats. So you're just, unfortunately, we just kind of have to make some concessions and just kind of buy what we can get our hands on at the present time. But there are definitely a lot of protein substitutions out there to 
to take the place of the ones that we're not able to find. There also seems to be a lot of produce in our stores, which is interesting. I haven't seen a produce shortage at all. So really focus on those fresh fruits and vegetables. They're zero smart points and they're really good to make full meals out of. You can simply take some beans, have it with some veggies and maybe some pasta or potatoes that you have in your pantry and you have a really good well-rounded meal. So focus on those real fresh produce items and kind of build your meals around those because those seem to be plentiful in every grocery store. And lastly, focus on those canned, frozen, or pantry items, shelf stable items and frozen items. You can always really stock up your freezer and your pantry and your cupboards with those items. And then when you can find fresh meat available, then you can buy that as well. But just stock up again on healthy options, point friendly options, and a lot of shelf stable food. And that'll at least get you through the tough times when it's really hard to find chicken and other meats. I also food. noticed when I was doing my grocery shopping that even canned foods can be a little bit challenging to find. Lucky for Diesel and Lola, I was able to find no salt added green beans and that went off without a hitch. So I'm sure that they'll be happy. But this is a really good time, you guys, to take advantage of ordering online. There are so many fantastic websites out there with WW friendly items. There's the Thrive Market that just has a ton on a whole real good food at very affordable prices. Nutrition also has a ton of WW friendly foods as well as the Protein Wise website. So take advantage of those online shopping tools. When you can't find those particular foods in your local grocery store, you can find them online much easier. Also Amazon, of course, is a great place to do some online shopping and take advantage of those other WW friendly items like Built Bars and Smart Cakes and Smart Muffins and Smart Sweets and protein powders and protein shakes. I am going to link down in the description box all of the online shopping tools that I have as well as the discount codes so that I can help you guys stock your fridge, your pantry with these online websites there they are plentiful now their shipping may be a little bit delayed but i just ordered off of both thrive and nutrition and didn't find any lack of finding the foods that i'm wanting so take advantage of this time and really dig into buying some of these things online so i also wanted to take a couple of minutes and just talk about the current situation. I know that it's been really hard on a lot of people. I know that people are unable to work, which is causing financial stress. I know that it's a very stressful, emotional time for people. So we did talk a little bit about what can we do during this crazy time to make our WW journey a little bit easier? So I wanted to share with you some of the tips that we discussed in my virtual workshop. And then I want to talk to you guys a little bit about where I'm at and what I'm doing moving forward in this time. So in the event that you're feeling like you are homebound or you're spending a lot of time at home, keep your refrigerator, your fridge, and your pantry out of sight, out of sight, out of mind. Don't sit somewhere where you have a direct view to that, to your kitchen. Try to keep yourself busy and try to keep that out of your sight because then you're not constantly creeping into the kitchen and having a lot of snacky foods to keep yourself busy. Communicate. Communicate with others on WW for love and support. Get onto YouTube and watch WW related videos. There are so many and I know that we're busy a lot of the time and we don't have time to always watch all of the videos that are favorite creators put out but this is a good time to get caught up watch videos for support new recipe ideas and you can always reach out to me on my Facebook group Instagram YouTube and share your thoughts your concerns we can talk I'm here to help you guys and help you through this entire process in any way that I possibly can so lean on us for support lean on other people on WW for support another thing that I had to do because my beloved jazzercise is closed at this time indefinitely is I ha you have to find an alternative form of exercise. Exercise it releases those endorphins that make you happy. So just find alternative forms of exercise. I've been doing jazzercise on demand. The weather is finally getting nicer in most areas. So go outside, enjoy the nice weather, take a walk, grab a buddy and take them on a walk. There are a lot of free workouts on YouTube. I've heard that gyms like Planet Fitness are giving you workouts for free online. So just find alternative forms of exercise, but do your best to keep up on your exercise routine. It'll help you maintain your weight loss, feel better, and definitely make things a little bit happier and enjoyable during this stressful time. Also find new 
recipes to try. Do a little bit of research and dig around on the internet. Spend some time finding some new recipes to try. Also, head over to my Facebook group and join us there. Sign up for my meal plan service where I bring you over 25 recipes for the month of April already points figured out, modifications made. Just spend some time finding some new recipes and I certainly can help you in that area. So head over, join my Facebook group, check out my meal plan and we share tons of recipes and ideas on there as well. But spend some time just finding something new and exciting to try, especially if you're stuck at home. Make it fun, make meal time fun. Close your kitchen. Close your kitchen after dinner. Pick a time where the kitchen is closed and there's no more eating. I know that a lot of people struggle with nighttime eating when they're watching TV or hanging out with their family. So I know for me, I always close my kitchen within 30 minutes to one hour after I finish eating dinner. And that means no more food. I can have a cup of hot tea if I want, water, but no food. So that's gonna help you stay on track and not overeat at night or when you're stressed out or bored. Just pick a time to close your kitchen and stick with that. I think it's really important to kind of find a new normal. Life is not normal right now. So what we can do to make it feel as normal as possible is find a new normal that works for us. And again, that includes watching what we're eating, finding alternatives for exercise, focusing on things in our life that are positive, finding new recipes. Shoot, spring clean your house. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I figure what better time than now to deep clean and spring clean. Clean out all those cabinets and really spend some time at home giving your house a good cleaning. So that's my plan for over the weekend. It's a great way to get in some steps and some exercise and you feel good and accomplished that your house is nice and clean. So just do your best to kind of find a new normal for your yourself. Make sure that you give yourself some grace during this time as well. Some people have so much on their plate that WW is on the back burner and that's okay. If it's hard for you right now to focus on WW, then don't. Focus on what matters in your life and that's different for all of us. So we all have to find a new normal and a new focus. If you decide that you're just going to maintain right now or maybe you're not going to count points at all, then that's okay. You have to do what's best for you and what is sustainable right now for you and I'm here for support we're all here to support you no matter what that decision is and lastly I think setting a goal for the time that we're in is really good and it can be just a really small goal but I think just setting a goal will keep us motivated and it may not even be a weight loss or WW related goal it could be something like an exercise goal or just a self-care goal like maybe taking a bath once a week or doing a face mask two or three times a week but setting yourself a goal or something to look for forward to during this time, I think is really, really important for sanity as well as something that we can look forward to. So with all these fun tips and tricks and things that we've talked about, I wanted to jump into this week's weigh-in. So I actually had a pretty good week food-wise. I did do Jazzercise On Demand three times. It was really fun. It was actually better than I was anticipating. So that was great. I just went in my house, found a spot, did my exercise, was a sweaty mess just like I am when I'm at Jazzercise. So I've kind of found a new normal for myself. It involves maybe modifying my recipes a little bit with the foods that I'm able to find, changing up my exercise routine for something that I have readily available, and just really focusing on what I can control, and that is the food that I'm eating. So for me, that's kind of become my new normal, and I'm so excited to let you guys know that I lost 1.2 pounds this week. 1.2 amidst the chaos, and I am so incredibly thankful and thrilled for that. And this is the motivation that I needed to stay on track during this whole process. And I know that that's not possible for everyone, but for me, this is kind of the one thing I can control in an uncontrollable world. So for me, this is my my strength, this is my normal, this is my foundation, is continuing on my WW journey and kind of doing what I've always done, but just kind of finding that new normal. So down 1.2 for the week. So that's it for me. I just wanted to share some tips and tricks that we talked about at the virtual workshop and then kind of my thoughts on the situation that we're in and what we can do to make it through. And again, I just want to reiterate that for me, my new normal is staying on plan, finding alternative exercises and trying to continue to 
to lose weight. But again, we're all different and you have to find your new normal. And maybe that's not focusing on WW right now, or maybe maintaining versus trying to lose weight. You just have to find the normal that works for you. And we're all different, but we're all here to support each other. So let's keep this positive and happy, be supportive. And just remember, give yourself grace. Give yourself grace during this difficult time and find the new normal that works for you. So thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of time with me this Friday. I hope that this helps motivate you. And I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments how your week went and kind of what your new normal looks like or what you think your new normal looks like. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. If you love these weigh-ins, give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, leave those comments. I can't wait to hear from you guys. And remember, I'm here for you to support you. So stay in touch, reach out if you have any questions or just need someone to talk to. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.